Hi guys, today I will show you how to construct this shield that is capable of driving this magnificent HOP75 RGB matrix display. I will show you how it was made in KiCad 7, both the schematic and the PCB design, and after this I will show you some practical examples on how to control the display with code written in MicroPython. So the shield is controlled by this Raspberry Pi Pico wireless. The main function is to drive the HOP75 signals. They are 5 volts, so we need to level translate them all from 3 volts by the, using these uh, two 8-bit uh, uh, buffers. Over here we have an unpopulated area. This is for an I2S speaker board, so we are able to play different tunes from the device. I will show you this uh, in a later video. The shield is powered from either 5V directly or from this unpopulated 8 to 24V DC to DC converter that can supply up to 5 amps. Over here we have an LDR connected to one of the Pico AD converters. This way we can measure ambient light and control the light intensity of the RGB matrix according to the environment. And uh, I also added a few buttons to reset and clear the Wi-Fi credentials uh, if necessary. So the PCB was uh, supplied by my channel sponsor PCBWay and um, they sent me these five cool looking boards. So they are 15 by 15 centimeters. The color is uh, matte black and the silk screen is with white color. Please uh, pay PCB way a visit and check out the good offer on 10 PCBs. Maximum size is 10 by 10 centimeters for just 5 US dollars. And they are produced in just 24 hours. You can also find a link to PCB way in the comments. Now let's have a look on the KiCad design. So let's have a look on the schematic. So this is the complete schematic of the device. And the main building block is of course this Raspberry Pi Pico. So over here we have all the signals for the display for the HOP75 interface. And here we have some uh, pins for the future I2S um, speaker board. Over here we have the LDR connected to ADC0. And here we have some switches and the I2S interface board connector. And here we have the power supply, so we can feed in 8 to 24 volt DC. And it is being handled by this TPS 5450 DC to DC converter that is capable of supplying up to 5 amp of output. And this is just the feedback resistor network here. So we can configure it to 5 volt. Over here we have the level translators, so we can give in 3.3 volt logic and on the other side we have 5 volt logic. So we need two of these buffers. And here we have some mounting holes and here we have the HOP75 interface connector. So a quite simple uh, schematic and uh, we can have a look on how it was designed in the PCB. And let's try and bring that up. So we, here we have the complete PCB. So the, the PCB is a square one. It measures uh, 150 times 150 millimeters. And here we have the location of the HOP75 connector, and the power input port, and here we have a hole in the PCB or a cutout so that we can give power into the display. And here we see the I2S port, the speaker, and here we see the DC to DC converter. So there are some very neat features so that we are actually able to zoom in and out of the PCB. So we can just do it like that.
So this is just a simple two layer board. And we can have a 3D view of it. Like this. We see there's 3D models for all the parts here. So this connector is actually placed on the backside of the PCB. All right, let's try and put some code into the processor and see some graphics on the display. So here we have some MicroPython code. Let's try and download some of the examples and see what happens. So this is just a very simple demo with some balls flying around on the screen. Let's take a rainbow. And we can go on the internet and get the time and display that on the screen. And finally, a small commercial for the channel itself. So this one will actually go out and check how many subscribers uh, that are currently on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want some of the examples, please leave some comments in the description and I will upload them. Bye!